Claremont and Huntington, Long Island. With Joe DeGuardi is star boxing, rockin' fight 16. We're in for a now big fight tonight. Is gonna be in the heavyweight division, Jerry. Big boys. Between Constantine Bejanaru and John Bolden. There you see the figures on both of the fights from up in Catskill, New York. Home of, formerly the home of Mike Tyson. Constantine Bejanaru is seven. I think he's out of Russia or so, I think. Two I knockouts. He went in at 217.2 pounds since five foot ten. John Bolden, right out of Brooklyn, New York, with a six nine and one record, five of those six victories by way of knock a big boy. Six, six foot, four. foot four. Weighed in at 223.4 pounds. And as is our practice, our star boxing microphones were able to catch up with Constantine Bejanaru at yesterday's weigh-in. In 2011, I finished my amateur career and I started professional career in 2012 here in USA. And now I have an uh, eighth fight. This is the eighth fight. I train two times a day to hard physical condition, technical, and I'm ready for the fight. Let's get it started. Let's ring this bell. Let's go up to ring announcer David Diamante. Ladies and gentlemen, we are set to go with our next bout of the evening, and it's all being brought to you courtesy of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing, sponsored by PAL Environmental Services, Anti-3 Protect Series, Camelot Specialty Limo, the Inn at Fox Hollow, Masterpiece Construction, and Power Play. Introducing your three judges scoring this contest ringside, John Basili, Ken Ezzo, and Kevin Morgan. And at the sound of the bell, your third man in the ring, Arthur Mercanti. And now, ladies and gentlemen, six rounds of boxing scheduled in the heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he wears solid black trunks. He weighed in at 223.4 pounds. His professional record, six victories, nine defeats, one draw. He has five wins coming by way of knockout. From the Bushwick section of Brooklyn, New York, ladies and gentlemen, John the Mandingo Warrior, Bolden. Bolden. And his opponent across the ring fighting out of the red corner. He wears red trunks with white and black trim. He weighed in at already 217.2 pounds. His professional record, six victories, one defeat, one draw. He has three wins coming by way of knockout. From Catskill, New York, ladies and gentlemen, Thunder, Constantine Bejenaru. Bejenaru. Good evening, gentlemen. I expect a nice, clean fight. Touch gloves. Good luck to the both of you. And here we go. Round I know, Randy. I've been in this, been number seen one, this kid fight, round. Constantine. He's very aggressive. Record of Constantine Bejenaru. Some records say six and one say. Some say 7-0. It might not matter. Let's just take a look. John Bolden, 6-9-1. And, and I noticed well, one that, of the Judah brothers worked in the corner of Bolden. Well, you, know, you see Bolden, what's Bolden doing, right? He's using that jam to keep Constantine off of what he's got to do. And he's had a lot of losses in his, in his career, but they were all decisions. No knockout losses. Maybe the second fight he got stopped, but he's a tough, tough kid. And he's in tough tonight. He's kind of feeling each other out. Trying to work his way in. Okay, Jerry, you're working the corner. Let's say there's one of his. No, oh, left hand got him. Off of McKinney Jr. is going to pull that a knockdown. It was. He got hit with a good hook. And he's not, you know, he's, he's using the jab. And then he comes in and his hands down, tries to open up. He gets caught with a shot. 
Arthur says his knee went down. I, I do believe I saw the knee touch. I wasn't sure if it did, but I thought it might have. Arthur said it did. He's the one who counts. Not his, his, his legs went rubbery, I'll tell you that. Bolden looks together. Got to keep that right hand He's higher because you know that this southpaw, well, yeah, Constantine well, Bejanado, has that big left hand. Well, he, he came in, Bolden, to open up, and he got dropped his hands. He got hit with a short shot with that left hand. He's got to work that jab. Jerry, at this point, does Bolden look like he's fighting a little bit scared to you? I don't think so. I think he's, he's doing what he's got to do. He's using his jabs. Like I said, the only thing that happens when he comes in, he leaves himself wide open. He's got to continue to use that jab, shoot the right hand down the pike, and tire out Constantine. But it's a, he's got a tough job tonight. Perfect. Boxer slugger. Boxer slugger. I love those fights. Nice body shot by yes. Constantine. You caught that one. And that's what's going to slow Bolden down to be able to not be able to move, and then he'll get caught inside. Bolden has to get on the move. If he decides to stay in close, that is not his game against this shorter, this 5 to 10 slugger. And he cannot leave his chin up in the air. He's got to see he goes in the blind there. He puts his head down, doesn't keep his eye on, on Constantine. That's a danger zone. If you're just tuning in, uh, these are heavyweights, Constantine Bejanaru in the red trunks, John Bolden in and the black. And as a heavyweight, I used to love a 16-foot ring. And they get as big as 22. All right, nice round, 10-9. Well, that was a great first round, opening round, for the man in red trunks, Konstantin Bejanaru, dropped his opponent. He's figuring the him out. Round. He's walking them down. I, I like Bolden's corner. They're teaching him to use the jab. Using the jab, stay outside. Don't come in and slug with a slugger. Years ago, Tommy Gallagher came out to Arizona with uh, Eddie... Uh, I was fighting him, Eddie, uh, Eddie Greg. Eddie Greg? Eddie, and he put him in the 18-foot ring with me just like this. Right. It's my, it's, it's my world. 18 feet, I love that. Take one step, you cut the ring in half. Here we go, round number two. Heavyweight battle between Constantine Bejanaru in the red and John Bolden in the black. Scheduled for six rounds. Now, if you're looking really at Bolden, right, he's throwing a nice jab but he's leaving his head stand still. After a while, you take aim at that. You know, you, you gotta move your head down, you gotta move. Be flexible so that you, you don't leave yourself up. If you throw the jab and leave your head there, you're wide open for the right hand, or, or the left hand, in this case. Okay, Jerry, if you were working the corner of Bejan Aru, what would you like to see him do different, or is he doing everything that you think he well, should? Well, he's doing good. I put more pressure on him. You gotta, you gotta pressure him, cut the ring down in half, and then cut it down in half again, and make him stay in that corner, and work the body. Work the body for two or three rounds, and then turn it over the top. You know, I, I, I like him. He's very aggressive. He's a tough kid. He's gotta learn to place his punches better. And that's no better place to hear in Huntington while he's growing. These guys are not young, you know. Constantine is 30 years old. Bolden is 35, so these guys are in. Nice movement. Listen, he's from Catskills. He moves a little bit like Tyson. A little bit, not a lot. But he's moving around. He's a short guy, Tyson size, and he's got that style a little bit. Just got to get into the body. All right, here we are, Jerry, in 2015. 
I think this is going to be one of the best years boxing has ever had. Well, you know, we talk about it, Randy. This year, there's so many great champions out there in all weight classes. And like we talked about, even the heavyweight division is coming around. Uh, a lot of great guys, a lot of, a lot of guys moving up. Next two years, we're going to see so many great fights in all weight classes. Absolutely. And New York is going to have itself a heavyweight championship fight in April at the in, in Brooklyn, there's going to be a heavyweight championship fight. Vladimir Klitschko coming. And between some of the great venues, Madison Square Garden and many of the other places all around New York, uh, boxing is just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And of course, Las Vegas and California, uh, they're all getting into it. And 2015, I say, oh, really? is going to be the biggest year boxing has seen in maybe three or four decades. Listen, Adonis Stevenson won big last night, five round knockout. Him and Kovalev are going to be sensational. Andre Ward, Julio Cesar Chavez, so many fights. From the Paramount in Huntington, Long Island, New York, I'm Randy G, the commission, along with gentleman Jerry Cooney. Now we got Constantine's really moving on now. He's really picking up the speed. He's getting close. He's really letting loose. Nice punches. He's fighting like Tyson. Yeah. Well, Jerry, they play Constantine in his corner. You gotta get busy. You're laying on the outside too much. Not this guy. Well, I think he was just feeling him out a little bit, checking him out, slowing him down a little bit with those body shots, and now he's, he looks like Mike Tyson. He, he's got the same similar style from the Catskills. Do you agree? Absolutely. You know, Constantine is trying to be, he's trying to be a lightweight in there. He's a little shifty footwork to the left and right, a little jitterbug in there. He's stepping to the right, but a little too far out. He can't punch. Mm -hmm. He's got to learn to close that distance down to leave himself to have some powerful shots. See, they were telling him in his corner, let your hands go. And from the outside, he is just not a boxer, Jerry. Right. He's shorter, he's got a shorter reach. He's got to get close in order to do damage, like that. Those are terrific body shots right there. You can't, a fighter can't take those shots for too long. And then that time the hands are gonna start dropping, then you just start turning it over. That's where you get the knockouts going. I see uh, Mr. Bolden is starting to breathe heavy in there. A lot of these guys, they come in as opponents. They don't really do a lot of running and work on their stamina. Well, one thing Constantine can do to make him breathe heavier, land some more body shots. Now you see Bolton, if he would step back a little bit, sit down on that right hand, he could counter punch and catch Constantine, but he's not too tired. I like the job off from the can he did in there. He tried to let them work inside a little bit, but when he saw it wasn't going anywhere, then he stepped in and made them break. I like him as a referee. I mean, I remember there was some controversy with the fight, and he wouldn't come on our show one time, and I forget what it was. I was a little disappointed in him about that because he's always a very straightforward guy. Well, I think the commission told him not to talk on it. You remember that at all? Well, there were sometimes some, some states don't like any of their officials to come aboard. But we were speaking to David Berlin before, and where in the past uh, they were having problems coming on. Now I think things are loosening up, and I think David Berlin will be a guest on our six series section club before. Now you saw the end of that round, Randy, when Bolton turned away as uh, Constantine was throwing left hooks at him, turned his head away. You can't do that. You cannot do that.
that you would think that maybe Constantine would do very well as a, as a cruiserweight, but you can't get 17 pounds over there. You know what I mean? You get down to 200 pounds, impossible. So five foot ten, he's really got to be really got to be aggressive and stay close to the guy, especially when you move up to guys like uh, you know we're talking about, you know, uh, Deontay Wilder, yeah. those kind of guys in the six six. Boom, just like Mike Tyson in the old days. I wonder if Constantine Bejanado, the man in red, the southpaw, stands five foot ten, if he could get down under 200 pounds. He'd be sensational. That? He'd be sensational as a cruiserweight. But I don't know if he takes 17 pounds off him. Yeah, to me, I mean, a 30, he's, a, he's a, 30, a good puncher. At 30 years old. But if you get right, if he gets in with one of these big guys, because look, Obviously, the dream, if you're a heavyweight, is to fight for the heavyweight championship. And these guys, Tyson Fury goes 6'9". Deontay Wilder is just under 6'8". Uh, Vladimir right. Klitsch goes 6'7". Yeah. Come on. The, a, big, good, uh, a good big guy will always be the good little guy. Nice trade. Nice trade. They're punching hey. back. Hey, I like, the, I like the trading. They're both trading well. Randy now, G, along with gentleman Jerry Cooney, ringside at the Paramount in Huntington, Long Island for Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing rocking Fight 16. So these, these guys are trading some great shots. The only problem is it benefits Constantine because he's in there close. I love that side step to the side. It's unbelievable. Bolton's fighting back. He's not going nowhere, Randy. Now, Randy, here's where Constantine's really got to get close. He's fading a little bit. Bolton's fading a little bit. He's got to get inside, keep him on the ropes, and bang away at him. He's giving him too much room there. Nice couple of nice hooks right there. Couple of nice hooks. The man in red, Constantine Bejanaru. He's got a shutout going. Basically having things his way. But John Bolden trying his hardest, taking some hard shots in there. Taking some nice body shots there. Nice left hand to the body by Constantine. Nice combination of six or eight shots there by Constantine. It's kind of funny that uh, Constantine's only got two knockouts in his six wins. You know what I mean? And Arthur McKinney jumps in at the end of the fourth round. Uh, that was obviously for Constantine, but it was a close fight. Hey, boxing fans, come out for live boxing. Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing presents Rockin' Fights. For ticket information, go to starboxing.com or ticketmaster.com. See some of the best young fighters. Star Boxing, Rockin' Fights, it's a knockout. Round number five. Scheduled for six, heavyweight bout between Constantine Bejanaru and John Bolden. Bolden in black, Constantine the southpaw in red. I don't know if there's a, that's some trouble here. Is that Bolden's corner is trying to get him to press, to press this uh, Chris Constantine, and you can't. You, you press him, you leave yourself open to get some solid shots right here to the body. See what he's doing there. He's pressing him, but he's wide open. See? He's got to use that jab. There was a headbutt in there. I guess they figure he's way far behind. They want him to press, but the only problem is they're going to get him knocked out that way. 
You know, anytime you get a southpaw against a right-hander, as you have here, you're going to have headbutts, especially when one guy is a very aggressive fighter, as is Bejan Aru. And I'm surprised there's only been one headbutt so far. Good job by Mercani. He had a little scissors in his pocket and cut some loose tape. I give this guy Bolden a lot of credit. He's really putting the pressure on. He's trying to make the force the fight. You know, it's funny. In the nine losses of Bolden, he has only been stopped once. Yeah, his first second fight. And you know who stopped him? Brian Jennings, the number one heavyweight contender, who in April will be fighting Vladimir Klitschko. Looks like Constantine uh, is tired. Of him. Wow, can you imagine if, if Bolden comes back to make this a super interesting fight? We're well, trying to try and put some pressure on him. Right now, it's all Constantine, but as you said, Jerry, he's starting to fade. Well, he's also looking to counter. Yeah, he just caught him a nice body shot. Constantine did. He caught uh, Bolden with a nice body shot. He's throwing a lot of punches. This guy's doing a lot of punches. I'm sure you counted him. How many punches did he throw? <laughs> I am a guy who likes to count punches, especially if, when you have a guy working out. I like to see a guy throw in 180 seconds. I want to see a fighter throw a good 200 punches on the bag. How many rounds? Each round. If you want to get in shape, that's what you got to do. And in, with the pros, they only throw about 50 punches per round. End of round number five. That was a better round for Bolden. I still got to give it to Constantine, though. So we put our pens down. I've got a shutout so far for Constantine de Zanaru. I got Bolden way ahead. <laughs> and come on, his family couldn't have him ahead. Again, it, like so many fighters we see, giving a good performance. Uh, digging down inside of himself, but he's not winning the fight. Oh. This will not be a split decision if this, it goes no, all right. six rounds. This, this round was Bolden's best round. Still, he, he lacked the ability to, to win the round. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the sixth and final round. by Constantine Bejano who comes right out and lands a hard left shot. hand to the head. He steps to the right and throws that straight left hand. But Golden's doing the right thing. He falls inside and Hold smothers on. him. Hold on. A little sloppiness in there. Well, it's a six round, man. They've been going a lot of rounds. Another big he's left corners, hand. Tell him, come on, come on. He's leaving himself open to hit too, though. I understand that point, but. Of course. Somehow I got to feel this is a frustrating nice, fight. Nice combo. But you know Somebody's what? Somebody's bleeding in there. Bad cut. Bad cut. Jared, was that a headbutt? I don't know if that was an I elbow. I think it was a headbutt. Yeah, and you're right, it could have been an elbow. But boy, oh boy, underneath the right eye Bad of Constantine Bejan Aru, that thing is wide open. But it's under the eye, and who knows? They may just let it continue. The doctors here in New York, among the finest in the world. I'm looking across the ring at Executive Director David Berlin. He's not at all worried because his doctors are really just fine. Headbutt, headbutt. And McCanny's telling him it's a headbutt. Right. Look to me that if it was, uh, you know, it was, it was a headbutt. I thought it was an elbow, personally. It was accidental, and I don't think there's going to be any points taken away. It certainly was not a flagrant. Let the fight go on. Let the fight go on. Well, 
Let's see what happens now if Golden gets fired up by this. Wow. Look at this action. What a, what a six round. This is what we come here these fights for. Walking fight 16, except when they come over in our direction, Jerry, we get a bloodbath. The only problem is this kind of fighting favors Constantine, not Bolden. I hope they stay in that side of the ring. Let us just watch it from over here. Constantine winces. He is feeling it. That's an ugly cut. Bolden caught a good left hand by Constantine there. I like the guts in these guys. And now they're working their way over towards Jerry and myself, right above us. Oh, shot in the middle of the back. Mercandy's gonna have to talk to him about that. They are getting sloppy here in the sixth and final round. Remember when you hear that tap on the ring, it's five seconds to go, not 10. It turned out to be a very good fight, man. Very good fight, but very one-sided fight. Till the end, the last two rounds are pretty close. This may be a round that Bolden wins. I would say. Here they go again, one final play. Constantine, Bejanadu pulling this round out with some last second action. Mercedes okay, pulls them together for John, guys. Cut gloves. Good action fight. The packed crowd here at the Paramount puts their hands together. Great night for Joe DeGuardias. Kind of my fight to Well, as we mark our scorecards, and you're marking yours, we're going to take a quick break, and we will come back to the decision here at the Paramount on Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. The decision coming up next. Can't get enough of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing? Download the Star Boxing TV app or check out our Roku channel to watch exclusive content and classic fights. Every punch, every knockout, every screen. The Star Boxing TV app gives you exclusive access to every moment of Joe DeGuardia's Star Boxing. Available on Apple, Android, and Roku. Just search Star Boxing to get in the ring. Okay, we're back for the decision in what turned into, on my scorecard, really a one-sided fight for Constantine Bejanadu, but it was a competitive shutout I'm just curious to see how the judges score this one. I don't expect a split decision. It should be a unanimous decision, but the crowd here, Jerry, enjoyed every second of and it. And Bolden could have won that last round, the last two rounds he was coming on, too late, a little bit too late, and uh, Constantine is victorious against that has to be. I had it 60 to 53 for the man in red, Constantine Bejanaru. Remember, in the first round, he knocked Bolden down, so he had a two-point round there. My scorecard, 60-53. And we will have that decision. David Diamante stands by and had a decision for us. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds of action here at the Paramount, we go to the judges' score totals. John Basili, Kevin Morgan, and Ken Ezzo all score this bout identically. They all have it 60-53, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Thunder, Constantine Bejanaru. Okay, no surprise there. All three judges had a 60-53, exactly as I had it. 